Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I am Adrienne, I live in New York City. I have temporarily relocated for a few days to Connecticut. And I am working on a 30 day challenge for myself. It is a lip product focus challenge where I try to familiarize myself with all the lip products I have which are way too many. And I am now on day 27. I thought it would be fun. Maybe it's cause it's like the weekend and I'm still in my pajamas and my hair's filthy and it's a long weekend. It's like a weekend to relax. And I wanted to make sure that I celebrate one of my favorite formulas ever. And actually, Hands down, it is my favorite formula to ever come out of the drugstore. And that formula is the Revlon Shine formula. This lip product is just really incredible. I have it in so many different colors. And so I thought, why not? Let's have fun. Let's swatch them all. I'll tell you why I like them so much, of course. And I know, you know, right now Revlon is going through stuff. I'm really hoping they still keep this one around. I still manage to pick up colors on Amazon um, every now and then, and they come straight from Revlon and they're in Revlon red packaging. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you order from Revlon, it will be in a sealed red cellophane packaging, which means no one has ever tampered with it, with, which I really appreciate. And all the ones I've ever ordered from Amazon have come in that packaging. So I still think that they have stock and are producing. So if any of these pique your interest, just know you still can get your hands on them. I just love them so much and they're just at a perfect price point. And so yeah, let's just get swatching because I love these so much. I'm going to swatch them in the number order that I have them in. So we'll start with shade number two. This one is beaming strawberry and if you're not unfamiliar with the packaging it's the sort of acrylic packaging that has you know almost like a black interior but it's a coating of acrylic it's really nice and really easy to store with the color indicator which of course i love if you watched any of my videos you know that's such a pet peeve of mine if a brand doesn't make that investment because it just makes storage like a nightmare. You'll forget, you'll forget what colors you have. So this really helps me. So Beaming Strawberry. It looks a little more vibrant on camera. It's a bit more subtle in real life, but it is like a really sweet, almost Barbie pink, but like a, you could pull this off Barbie pink. And the formula is just butter it's like they melted down butter and they put some color in it and somehow figured out a way to stabilize it and you get to spread butter on your lips all the time it also has a really wonderful soft sweet sugar smell it's not really a vanilla it smells more like spun sugar like almost cotton candy but not over the top like a fresh cotton candy i don't know to me it's a really pleasant smell and I don't find that it lingers or it's something that you can like breathe in. Like when you're talking, you can like feel it. This type of formula is not a long wear formula. It is more about nourishing the lips with a little bit of color. And it's just an absolute pleasure to reapply throughout the day. So I don't hold, you know, I, I don't think we need to have only long wear products in our lives when it comes to lip products. I think there is a place and time for that. And there's a place and time for the luxurious lip balms that you want to mush on your lips all day long. That's kind of how I am. I mean, at my job, I have a bunch of just lip balms that I just love to reapply. Maybe it's a stress thing. I don't know. I just like, I just like, I just like the process of putting on a lip balm. So this one is a really pretty kind of baby pink color, but it has a little more color to it. With a lip liner, you can elevate this, I'm sure, but it's a really pretty, fun, refreshing color. That is number two, Beaming Strawberry. Here's number three, Glossed Up Rose. This is much dustier than Beaming Strawberry. I feel like this is a very palatable 
pink, like a pink that everyone can wear and be comfortable in. It's not too young, it's not too like blah. It has some vibrancy. It's pretty. It's a pretty it's a pretty pink. Yeah, I've had this one in my collection for a while. You see, I've actually worn it quite quite a lot. Revlon has been around forever. And what I love about that is they have iconic shades that they always will bring out if they have a new product, that iconic shade. And this is one of them. This is Cherries in the Snow. It's such a pretty, vibrant pink. It has a, it's a little bit more blue leaning, so I think it's quite flattering. This is a little bit tougher to wear and not kind of have a mirror with you and put it on. So you do have to be a little bit more careful because there's a lot of pigment here, but it's also really pretty. And I do find that it's quite a smooth application. There's not a lot of splitting of the pigment, so it's not patchy in any way. If you wanted this to be a much more long wear look, I would probably do a lip liner. Not the biggest fan of lip liners. I know I've said that a million times in my videos before, but uh, this one I would probably put a lip liner on if I was wearing it for an evening out and I wanted to reapply it and not worry too much about my lip lines. It's a really pretty, almost like muted magenta. So I think that this would be quite attractive on a lot of people. So muted magenta is not a great color name. So I'd go with cherries in the snow. I'm, I'm so glad Revlon has professionals that name their lipsticks. <laughs> this one is another one I've had for a while and I love, I think this one's really special. It's Number six, Sparkling Honey. It's actually quite transparent and you could see the pigment is more kind of browny. So it allows for your lips to kind of peek through. It tinges your lips like a sophisticated nude color that can be really a great shade to have when you've done maybe more of a smoky eye or something a little heavier on the eye area and you want a nice lip, but you don't want it to be too washed out. I, I think this is a really pretty color and it, it's gonna be a, a different color on everyone really based on your skin tone. So I would give it a shot. Sparkling Honey was such a nice surprise and I just really loved it. So I like this color. This is number seven, Glazed Mauve. This is newer in my collection and I just think this is a really pretty, more neutral, cool leaning rose color. So kind of similar to the glossed up rose, but it has a little more purple in it, has a little bit more neutral. I think like a really pretty rose, especially for the winter time when light just turns a little blue and um, I don't know, it feels like very easy and sophisticated. It's a pretty color. So this again is number seven, glazed mauve. You know I like a color when I smile. <laughs> it's always a nice, a nice surprise. Here's another classic Revlon color, Rum Raisin. I used to wear Rum Raisin in the original Lustrous in high school. I mean, that's how, that's how long Rum Raisin has been around. This is number eight in the line. It's really pretty. It has some rosiness, but it also starts to kind of have a splash of almost like a light cranberry, a little bit of brown. And there's a reason why they keep bringing out these shades. It's because it's, I think a lot of them are universally flattering and Rum Raisin is one that on different skin tones is gonna look a little different, but it's still gonna, it's still gonna be a really flattering shade. So that is Rum Raisin. Next up is number 11, Glistening Purple. This one's a real unique shade. And I just did a video about how this is a dupe for one of my favorite colors in NARS Sheer Lipsticks Damage. I will link that video down below. But this one has a lot of purple, but because it has a lot of sort of translucency, I just think it's immensely cool and flattering. I love this type of shade, especially if you have like a really cool tone look or grade look. This is beautiful. This is beautiful in the winter. It's it's such a nice, sophisticated color and I just love it. This one is Glaring Coral number 14. I actually don't think this is Glaring Coral at all. This is such a subtle type of way to wear coral. I think 
coral could be a really tough color for some people but in this type of formula with this type of translucency i think it really works nicely and you could you you will surprise yourself don't get put off by the shade name because again i don't think this is glaring coral i think this is so pretty actually with my pj you can kind of see it goes with the little corally flowers that are on there and i just think it's really pretty and just subtle a different way to wear coral i always think of coral as like a spring summer but this one has some depth to it that i would say easily could go into the fall and it would be like a a sly way to continue to incorporate coral especially if you're like a big fan of orange or peach kind of color lipsticks i am and yeah i just think this is a beautiful color super subtle and don't let the name fool you here is number 19 dewy peach this is hands down my favorite color in this entire line it is the only color that i actually have a backup of brand new in the back of my drawer it's the only lipstick in fact that i have a backup of in the back of my drawer i love this shade again similar to like the glaring coral i love wearing corals and peaches and things but sometimes it could just look off or make your teeth look like really yellow or just kind of not look flattering and this one is one that i think looks so so flattering really comparable to some of the nars afterglow lip balms that i have but i even like this one better i mean this is my favorite peach ever if i had to get rid of everything and just have one peach lipstick, this is the one I'm keeping. That's how passionately I feel. And I just love it. I think it brightens up the face. It's, it has some vibrancy, but it's easy to wear. And it just makes me feel really happy and comfortable. And makeup should do that for you. You know, don't ever feel uncomfortable <laughs> in makeup. Don't ever feel uncomfortable in a pair of shoes. These are all life lessons that you have to learn. And Here's one for you. Buy lipsticks that make you happy and that make you smile. So here's one that is very new to my collection. This is called Shine Stealer. It's number 24. It looks a little more magenta fuchsia on the bottom of the sticker, but it's actually more reddish with a tiny pink, a tiny bit of orange, but it's like a poppy red. It's really beautiful and there's some like tiny tiny sparkles in it but they aren't sparkles that you can feel and I feel like this is the only one that has from my collection that has these little sparkles it's quite festive it's really pretty I like that I'm gonna have to wear that I feel like this could be a really pretty uh, day friendly red especially during like the holiday season I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, there are so many colors in this line and occasionally I'll kind of like look and give myself permission to buy another. If you're curious about any of those shades and want to see them swatch side by side, I will swatch them on my arm and take a photograph in indirect sunlight and I'll insert it at the end of this video so that you could take a screenshot and maybe do some shopping for yourself and see what works best. I just can't say enough about how much I love this formula. It's wonderful. I hope Revlon somehow comes out of whatever they're going through okay. They are one of my favorite drugstore brands for a lot of iconic products. And it says a lot that to me, their lip products, especially this lip product is really incredible. And I don't want it to go anywhere because I think it's much better than what you can find even out in luxury and you're paying you know a fifth of the price of some of those lipsticks so i really really hope they make it out of this because i don't want to be without these lipsticks if you have tried this formula and feel the same way or feel differently let us know in the comments down below if you like this video hit the thumbs up consider subscribing and clicking the bell for notifications so that way you know when I post tomorrow's video, which I promise I will like be more put together for because 
we're, we're reaching the grand finale of this and I have to be a little bit more presentable and professional. I promise I'll get there. Okay. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. And for those of us who celebrate Labor Day, I hope you all are doing something fun this long weekend. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk soon.